And now at five, closing in big developments today as the FBI and local police raid a home in Plainfield, all connected to those social media threats over the winter targeting Plainfield students and the community. We first told you about the raid and a push alert this morning on our RTV6 app. We have live team coverage starting with Call 6 Investigates Paris Lubell outside the home in Plainfield. Paris? Officials still staying tight-lipped on the whole investigation, but sources have confirmed to Call 6. This is all related to those social media threats that occurred earlier this year in, in December of last year at Plainfield High School. Now, this is the house behind me where those police were inside earlier, the SWAT team from the FBI and, uh, and from local police. But we're taking you to a video just a little while ago, about five hours ago here at this point. Police are now gone from the scene, but this is what it looked like uh, this, uh, this morning, and sources tell us that FBI and those local police SWAT teams went into one of the apartments around 6 o'clock this morning. A Plainfield Police, Brownsburg State Police, IMPD, and the FBI were all out here on the scene assisting with that search warrant. Now, sources tell us that multiple people were inside the apartment when police first went inside. Those investigators spent about five and a half hours collecting evidence, and our crews saw them remove at least one computer and other boxes of evidence. Now, no word yet if any of the people inside the home were detained. Police telling us no one has been officially charged yet. Now, this apartment is familiar to investigators. This is the second time they've been out here. The first was in January during another raid where we saw other computers and evidence removed from the home. And now back here live, we're also finding out that one of the people inside the apartment they went into was a Plainfield High School student and had a uh, computer and had a restraining order filed against him by another student there at the school. Now that happened all in November. Court records show that he was harassing a female student and sending threatening text messages. Now we're going to continue talking to our sources and bring you the latest information just as soon as we have it. For now, reporting live from Plainfield, Paris Bell, RTV6. Continuing our team coverage in Hendricks County, today's raid has many in the community wondering if this is the beginning of the end in this month's-long saga. Let's get right to RTV6's Chance Walser live outside Plainfield High School with how students are reacting. Chance? Students I spoke with say they can't wait for this case to be closed. They've been forced to make a lot of adjustments, especially with security, the second part of the school year, and they really just want things to go back to normal. One of those things, as a precaution, school administrators canceled some class time because of these threats. Students have also been issued some clear backpacks as an added security measure while they're at school. You may recall those threats began by targeting a specific Plainfield student, but eventually broadened to threats at an area shopping mall and against the public. Today, neighbors watched as those federal and local police agencies served that warrant, hoping that arrest will follow shortly. I heard a couple of students talking about it in class and whatnots, and I think it's good. I just always thought he was overseas because nothing else really happened with the story. I hope they put him in jail for what he deserves. You know, I, I think he deserves what he gets. He's know what he's doing. We're extremely happy to see the police cars there because since these threats abruptly stopped in February, they said they got a sense that the case had kind of been forgotten about. Live in Plainfield, Chance Walser, RTV6. Our full team of reporters has been working on this story since first word of the threats emerged, striking fear for hundreds of families. Call 6 Investigates Rafael Sanchez joins us now with messages at the center of this investigation. Todd, good afternoon. Guns and homemade bombs, that's what the person claimed he'd use against kids in Plainfield. And for the person who's caused all of this hysteria, law enforcement has a pair of handcuffs on standby. Plainfield's nightmare may end at the corners of Elm and Avon. After several months of living with death threats, the presence of local police and the FBI may bring their investigation to a close. The threats in Plainfield all unfolded in mid-December. A person using the name Brian Kill forced schools to close when he posted online that he planned on leaving a trail of death at the high school. And to incite more fear, he said he owned homemade pipe bombs, handguns, and a semi-automatic rifle. That led to a heavy police presence and launched a cyber investigation hoping to identify Brian Kill. As students headed for Christmas break, Brian Kill wrote this, enjoy your two weeks. They can't close school every day. And he bragged that he spent the night making explosives. In January, authorities remained vigilant against the ongoing threats, which included this warning of a massacre and that no amount of security will be enough. In February, the suspect went in a new direction, posting that his threats were a lie and in defiance wrote, it will take a miracle 
to catch me. Tonight at 5, authorities are committed to catching that person. This incident, by the way, in Plainfield led to unrelated copycat threats in nearby Danville. Live in the newsroom, Rafael Sanchez, RTV6. And we will continue to monitor developments in the coming days and weeks. When we learn new information about the case, we will bring it to you right here on RTV6 and the RTV6 app.